All right, guys, with that down, let's move on to this, shall we? You know, Chucky, I'm going to admit, I'm not the biggest Chucky fan in the world. I love the first Child's Play. I thought maybe the franchise should have ended there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, but I've got a lot of friends who love Chucky. Um, and Megan kind of came out of nowhere and was a delight. Get this about the Megan movie. They made Megan for $12 million. That's less than what Taylor Swift spent to make the Eris concert tour movie. $12 million to make Megan, and it made $180 million Ooh. at the box office. Now, some of you might remember back when Megan was about to come out, a Twitter battle ensued between Chucky and Megan. Now, it's not surprising, <laughs> they're both under the same studio. Now, ever since then, there's been a lot of questions and other things have happened that has now led the creator of Chucky to kind of tease we may be seeing a Megan and Chucky crossover. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at Coming Soon who write the following. The Twitter accounts for both Chucky and Megan engaged in a bit of a spat during the promotion for Megan's theatrical release, and it was clearly an intentional plan given both are under the same NBC Universal umbrella. But when Mancini, the creator of Chucky, was asked about a showdown between the two, he replied with a simple yet utterly tantalizing, I would say, stay tuned. All right, let me say this. <laughs> I am not normally one for crossovers. Like a lot of times when people will write in and ask, hey, John, what do you think about a crossover of uh, Beverly Hills Cop with Lethal Weapon? It's like, okay, that's, this sounds like a gimmick more than anything else. And I don't know that all sounds all that exciting for me. They did Freddy versus Jason. Quite frankly, that didn't work out so well. And we've seen some other crossover things that quite frankly have not worked out so well. And also the question becomes why? What's, what's the point of doing that? But Chucky and Megan, neither Chucky nor Megan are iconic to the level of Freddy or Jason or Michael or things like that. They both have, now granted, Megan only cost 12 million, made 180. Still only made 180. That's not like huge, massive global blockbuster numbers, right? <laughs> These are two, relatively speaking, smaller IPs that if you put them together as not primary IPs, but smaller IPs, this is something that could be good for both Chucky and Megan. And listen, the story of the primacy of who is the best killer doll like you do this thing. I was reading this one thing where, you know, Chucky is a very sensitive individual. Chucky is very, also has a lot of pride. Doesn't want this idea that some other killer doll out there is getting all of his glory. And the idea of this big showdown between them, I'll tell you a supernatural versus supernatural versus science, right? The science of Megan, the supernatural of Chucky, you put that together, I'll tell you what, as the person who says, I never don't really care about these crossover ideas and who someone's not even a big fan of Chucky, I gotta say, sign me up. I will watch this movie. I will go to theaters. Hell, even if you say I have to sit through a double feature of Five Nights at Freddy's with this, I will go and do that. I will go and watch this because I think this could be good for Chucky. I think this could be good for Megan. Uh, this is something that I think, and I think it's something that would excite the fans. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Guys, you know, as a small business owner, I am finding myself having to be in negotiations all the time, whether it's with new contractors, vendors, or even agencies that represent our company. Now, I don't like to go into these negotiations unarmed, so I found the perfect class on Masterclass, The Art of Negotiation by Chris Voss, a real-life former FBI lead hostage negotiator. Taking this class on Masterclass made me feel a lot more equipped and confident going into all these various negotiations I have to do on a regular basis. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. An annual membership starts at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, insight, and much more. There are over 180 classes to pick from, everything from filmmaking with Martin Scorsese all the way to cooking with the great Gordon Ramsay. In Masterclass, you will find practical lessons that you can apply to your life and work. So guys, get 
unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a John Campy Show listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash campia. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash campia. I think the fans of these properties will get pretty darn excited about seeing this and maybe grow each of their IPs. So you know what? We're making a mountain out of the molehill of one statement where he says, I would say stay tuned, okay? Maybe that means something completely different. Maybe that means we're going to get a Chucky versus Megan comic book. It, it's very possible that's the direction they go. I'm just saying that if they did do this in a movie format, contrary to how I usually feel about this stuff, I would be so down for this. Anyway, Chris, what do you think about the possibilities of Chucky versus Megan? And I can't even remember. Did you get around to seeing Megan? What did you think of I Megan? I still haven't seen Megan. You still haven't seen I Megan? I still haven't seen Megan. And I need to because I keep hearing about how funny and campy it is. It's, it's really good. And it's I do really love good. horror comedy. Like if you give me a Tucker and Dale kind of situation, I'm here <laughs> for that. Um, I mean, this makes sense though. The, the sentient AI with the doll who's possessed by the soul of a serial killer. I can understand those two teaming up together. That being said though, the new Chucky series, if I'm not mistaken, is a little more leaning into comedy. He's in the White House now or something <laughs> of that nature. There's there's a bunch of weird shit happening that I am not enough of a horror expert to weigh in on. <laughs> so I just don't know if if both lean into camp now and then if you have that kind of uh, film that's just a very campy, which doll will be, be victorious kind of thing, or if you really lean into the kind of child's play horror roots of real slasher kind of stuff. Um, Either way, I mean, it's something even I would probably tune into. I, I think there's a lot of potential for yeah. this. Yeah, I think so, it'd be fun. Uh, and, and you know what? It's something you could make for 20 million bucks. Oh, yeah. You could make 20 million bucks, take this theater, make 150. I, I, I think this is a no-brainer. She can teach Chucky how to dance. Oh, my God. It'd be magical. <laughs> that would own the internet if they mm -hmm. did that. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.